ipmnation.com. Good evening and welcome to All Natural Being here on ipmnation.com. We're just a few seconds away from launching over at Facebook Live, but I just want to stop by and thank you all again for making us the number one rated show here on ipmnation.com. We couldn't do it if it weren't for you. So thank you again so very much for sticking with us and making us, as I said, the number one show here on the IPM Nation platform. All right, here we go. We're going to head on over to Facebook. Oh, and now, for the first time this evening, we'll be broadcasting to YouTube live as well. So here we go. Live from the Outpost Studios in Columbus, Ohio, you're listening to All Natural Being with Brian Brody. Brought to you by IPMNation.com. Get ready for the gong heard round the world. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Natural Being with Brian Brody is designed to shake your sense of self to the core. It's full contact psychology with an empowering twist, a philosophical loofah for your soul. For those of you not ready or comfortable releasing your inner superhuman, listener discretion is advised. Here's your host, Brian Brody. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for stopping by the number one rated show here on IPMNation.com, episode 283, and it's a very exciting episode of the Gong Heard Round the World. You're in, as I'm sure you can imagine, to all natural being broadcast as it happens here on IPMNation.com and Facebook and YouTube now for Fly on the Wall video. But it's always live from the Outpost Studios here in Columbus, Ohio, with rebroadcasts on iTunes and iHeartRadio. Greetings wherever you are, here in the Garden of the Mortals, top of the day, from the truest parts of your mind. Because remember, life, it's your labyrinth, your shot at running the table as you see fit. That's why we're always putting your highest priority, top of the list, placing your primal screen front and center in your life, reinstalling and reinstating the true wisdom and wit of your inner whisper. It's time to reboot your robust, to find your ferocious, to output of the brutal that is the cut and shuffle that bait deals you on a daily basis and to bring your own bold once and for all. But before we hit it this evening, Hello to my friends here in the United States and Canada, Mexico, the UK, my good friends in Ecuador, China, the Philippines, Brazil, Peru, India, Australia, Germany, Italy, France, Turkey, Japan, Singapore, Sweden, Israel, South Africa, Puerto Rico, Kenya, the Netherlands. To those joining us from all over the globe, it really is great to have you with us. I truly am fired up to be driving your bandwagon, to be your biggest fan, to be avidly you, also to be a virtual hitchhiker. Let me ask you. Are you tired of being institutionalized by the intentions of others, convicted by the constructs of another, remanded to a prison of rhetoric, yours or someone else's? Well, I was too. And that's why it's time, I believe, it's time to mortal up. So what do you say? We got a lot to get to this evening. What do you say? We go kick in some doors. And again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us and a very special episode because we have a lot to get to uh, this evening, uh, just a lot of things to not only to just kind of jump into, but a little bit of, of, of a programming note, if you will. And, you know, for those of you that have, uh, have been following the show all along, thank you again for everything that you've done. 
to make us the number one show here on IPMNation.com and to help us get to iTunes and to iHeartRadio. And I wanted to share a little story with you because a good friend of mine just said to me, oh, let me say hello here in the thread. Lee, thank you for joining us here at All Natural Being. Wayne, thank you very much for joining us. Also, Rita, good evening. Nice to see your smile as always pop up in the feed. Thank you so very much for joining us here at All Natural Being. So, as I promised, if you're a member uh, of, of All Natural Being and the, over in the post that we do uh, uniquely to you on Facebook, I promised we were going to have a big announcement tonight at 8 p.m. And, and so before I get to the announcement, I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea as to why all this came to be, how it all fell into place, let's say. And it all started, as you know, I'm busy recovering from, uh, you know, a, f- a few little... <laughs> brain surgeries and and, 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 a, and a garden hose sticking out the top of my head and, and all the aftershocks and the aftermath that comes from uh, traumatic brain injuries. And it's been my attempt because now I believe, as many of you know, and you're too nice to say when you bump into me, but many of you know, oh, I have a face for radio it, and quite possibly the rear view mirror, if you're being really honest. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Rita. Good evening to you as well, Lee. So given this newfound understanding that I really have a face for radio, it's true. You know, to my credit, I have thousands and thousands of live television appearances over the years, national, local, all over the place. But I realized after coming out, like I said, with my snorkel, (laughs) oh, and I should show you this. It just dawned on me. uh, Where am I? Uh, I go over here. It just dawned on me. People say, oh, what do you carry for good luck? Uh, I carry a horseshoe. (laughs) <laughs> I just realized that just today, I realized that this is a horseshoe shaped scar. So I carry a horseshoe with me wherever I go. In any event, now with more scars than anyone wants to meet, uh, meet most certainly anyone wants to admit, well, I have a face for radio. So what I thought was, is I would learn everything I could about radio, right? Because I say to you, uh, start off each evening, uh, putting your heart's highest priority top of your list. What's your calling? What is it? What's your primal scream all about? How how do we put your wit and your wisdom front and center in your mind's eye? And for me, I thought, oh, well, you know, my days in front of the television camera are over. So I might as well, right? I might as well see what I can do to learn this radio. So as you know, and if you've been sticking here with me uh, through All Natural Being on IPM Nation, a special thank you to uh, Matt Connerton and also to Jenny for everything they do to help keep me up and going. Good evening, Shane. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us here on All Natural Being. So one of the things that I wanted to do was, you know, come up with this concept of radio. But as you guys and girls know, right, especially if you've been following me, yeah, I don't know very much about this. So I was, you know, I bought radio for dummies and, and soundboard for idiots and I bought all these things to try to teach me radio. And one of the things, you know, I believe that the universe presents itself in the moment for a reason and that when it does, everything you've ever needed, you've always had. So one of those, I guess Carl Jung uh, might call it synchronicities, serendipities, chance occurrences, whatever you want to call it. I was out driving around earlier this summer and was coming up past an intersection and like a dozen people are scampering like gazelle, right? On the African plains. They're scampering across the highway. So I slow down and wait for them. Come on, come on, come on. And as I'm sitting there, I stopped and looked over and I go, oh, well, look at that. There's a radio station right there. And I would later find out that they were all on an ice cream break across the way. And uh, right. And they were crossing the street so they can get back to the the radio gig. And I thought, well, isn't that an interesting turn of events? Here I am. I want to go into radio. And I happened to stop for this herd of people to move across the street, right? Just being polite. I want to hit them, right? Just went, right? And they're full of ice cream, so they're sugar. They're all worked up. So I wanted to stop so they could get across the street. And lo and behold, there's a radio station. So, and I want to tell you what radio station, because <laughs> well, I just don't, right? And, and I've changed Josh's name to Mike, let's just say, so that I don't even have to use his real name. So we'll just call him Mike. But I thought, you know what? That'd be pretty cool. So well, I make a quick U-turn. I go in and I meet the receptionist and I say, hey, you know, I know this is a really crazy idea, but I would love to be able to talk to you about a radio gig. I would love to learn. I, you know, I, I have no experience for the most part, 
but well, I think I'm, I, I could help in other ways. Maybe I could be an intern. I could do <laughs> some other things. Good evening to Paul. Good evening to Janice. Good evening to Paula. Good evening to Henry. Thank you so very much for joining us here at All Natural Being. I was just talking about, uh, you know, a, 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 a situation where I stopped to let some people cross the street. Hello to you as well, Janice. And I happen to look over and there, oh, there's a radio station, like a real radio station, right? So I go, well, that's just too much of the universe saying, hey, this is something you should capitalize on. So I spun around and I spoke to the receptionist and she gave me the name of an individual uh, that was like the program director. And she goes, oh, I, I'm sure he'd love to talk to you. So I called the program director, left him a couple messages and decided, okay, great. I'll go ahead and send him an email. So I thought I would read you the email. Again, I've changed his name. It, we'll just call him Mike. Because this isn't about throwing anyone else under the bus. It's just to answer the question as to why I've decided to do what it is I'm going to do, what it is I'm going to announce here in a little bit, right? What's my heart's highest priority? And you've heard me say before, you can't spell Brian without the I in insane. So this will all kind of make it you know, like a Rubik's Cube. It'll, all, uh, it'll, it'll bring the pieces together for you. So I wanted to share with you the email that I wrote. So I said, hey, jo- uh, not Josh. Hey, Mike, thank you again. I truly appreciate your time. As I mentioned, I have recently relocated to here in Columbus, and I'm actively trying to learn the production side of radio. In that I'm recovering from three extensive brain surgeries in six months to remove a golf ball-sized brain tumor, blah, 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 blah. I think it's safe to say I definitely have a face for radio. We've covered that. And probs, uh, most rearview mirrors. I just like that line, <laughs> truth be told. I was never really all that good looking anyways, so the scars, it's just icing on the cake. But would it be at all possible, Mike, to further our discussion? I really would be excited to learn from you. And in hopes of finding an intern opening, that would allow me that opportunity. Now, honestly, I'm not much of a mechanic, so your motor pool wouldn't be a fair fit. Outside of a weekly hand washing and vacuuming of your vehicles, right? That said, I could be a janitor. Oh, maybe I could cut the lawn. I could shovel sidewalks this winter, right? I could do that. Or it could be a building and grounds kind of gig as a barter from the chance to learn from you, right? Or just, right? So I'll trade you and you can just teach me how a board works and some other, you know, what are bumpers and cutaways and all the other things that I I clearly don't have a clue about. And I said in the email, unlike most aspiring employee types that reach out to you, I have zero radio production. Though I've read a half a dozen books and, you know, like soundboards for dummies, the things that you and I have covered. Bright side, your instruction will always fall on receptive and eager ears. Either way, be thankful for an opportunity to learn from you. And thank you again for listening to such a crazy idea. And that email was a couple weeks ago, a month, something like that. Oh, wow. It was a month ago. Send out that email. Now, well, I don't want to, and again, I, I didn't say that I was going to do this because I want to throw anybody under the bus. Uh, it just so happens it's, a, it's a, a Christian radio station. And to make a very long story longer, <laughs> no, make a very long story short, the kumbaya of that station was for everyone but me, really, right? So never got a return, <laughs> never heard back. So it's like a do not enter sign when it comes to Brian. And all I wanted to do was barter. Like, look, I'll, I'll, I'll rake leaves. I'll go uh, scrub windows. I would have worked in the motor pool, but I don't know the first thing about cars. I know how to start them, how to drive them. Couldn't change oil if you paid me. So, so it was my attempt to try to learn the radio gig. And they basically just... They they probably took (laughs) one look at my email and go, yeah, you're right. He's got no experience. Why would we let him come into a studio, sit here, and just look over our shoulder? Why why would we let him try to learn anything? We got better things to do. We're running a radio station here. All right. Oh, look at this. Let's take a quick call, see who we got. Good evening. Did I get this right? Welcome to All Natural Being. Who are we talking with? You got it right, Brian. Welcome back. (laughs) Thank you, my friend, very much. So, everyone, this is Henry Noel, 
Henry, I was just explaining about how uh, the Kumbaya sign was out at the radio station for everyone but me. And so, oh. right, so uh, I was going to do whatever I could. I'll park cars. I can, I can probably work security overnight. You know, I, I, I think I offered to cut the, uh, wash the guy's car or do whatever I can. And all I wanted was a little bit of an opportunity to kind of like look over his shoulder, learn from him what it would take to be in radio. And g- uh, guess what? Uh, guess wow. what his response was? He offered you a job. Nada. Didn't hear from him. Never heard from him again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Never heard from him again. So I was telling everybody, Henry, right? But why would you? If, if you, look, if you ran a business, Dana Lee is with us. Dana, good evening. Thank you for watching, hanging out with us here on All Natural Being. I put right in the email, Henry. I go, I have zero experience, but I'll rake leaves. Well, I'll empty trash cans. Ooh, I'll, I, can, I can scrub, wash windows, right? I have to learn how to do that, but I could do it. I could vacuum. And all I would like is an opportunity to learn from you. Like, how do you work a board? How do you do this? How do you do that? Nothing. Crickets. Kumbaya for everybody but me. Oh, so, <laughs> as one would. <laughs> it sounds like it would have been a golden opportunity to get uh, some great labor. It's free, right? I don't want to get in trouble with the IRS, but, I, 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 right? I would have donated free labor. I, I was willing to do it. Oh, Nothing. Man. Nada. Nil. Zilch. Couldn't be bothered. Don't waste my time. He didn't even send me an email back to tell me don't waste his time. So, as everyone would, I decided that I would beat them at their own game, right? And what I decided in all this, and I announced this morning quickly on Facebook, is that we're going to do a 24-hour, 10 a.m. to 10 a.m., nonstop call-in radio broadcast this Labor Day. So I think, Henry, it's uh, Labor Day is like, what, like the third. So it'll go from 10 a.m. on Sunday to 10 a.m. on Monday. So I'm going to do... Oh, that'd a, be perfect. I, I kind of thought so, right? It, it, it'll be daytime somewhere in the world throughout that 24 hours. So I'm going to do a 24-hour call-in radio talk show. Have people like you, you're always very gracious, you call in. Well, I'm going to do it just as my, just my way of saying, hey, thanks for, <laughs> you know, thanks for not returning my email. <laughs> so then people go, well, that doesn't seem, you know, that's great, your 24-hour thing. So then I guess it's time for me to drop the big shoe. So here's the thing, right? I don't handle rejection well, I guess is the moral of the story. So when they decided not to help me, I go, great, I'll teach myself how to do this. And I'm going to do this 24-hour. But the 24-hour episode that we'll do for All Natural Being here this Labor Day is a run-up, if you will, Henry. It's to announce that later this year, in the month of December, already in contact uh, with the good folks at Guinness World Records, I decided to go from almost hitting a group of radio employees on the way back from an ice cream break, as one would, right? Going from there to where I'm going to go for the world record. (laughs) I say all the time, you can't spell Brian without the I and insane. I'm going to go for the world record of the longest nonstop call-in radio talk show. That's how I'm going to answer the unanswered email. What do you think about that? Oh, sign me up. I love it. I think that is Thanks, a brother. Great idea. Wow. <laughs> so, oh. 80 hours and five minutes. So, I think I put up, Henry, earlier today that we're going to call it uh, 81 to win. So, the hashtag is going to be the number 81 and then to win. So, 81 T O W I N. That's going to be the hashtag. And what I'm going to do throughout this month is identifying people, and I'm hoping you'll be one of them, brother, identifying people oh. that will come on. Like, you know, my father-in-law does uh, ultra marathons. Maybe a lot of people listening do ultra marathons where they go out and run for like 100 or 200 miles. Who knows? They run for like a week at a time. But what I do know is they have pacers, people that come on and do different legs, if you will, different segments of the race so that they can keep them awake, keep them on track. All those kind of things. You know, just talk to them. So what I was thinking, Henry, is for the 24-hour marathon, I'd get 48 pacers. 
So, like this morning, I talked to Dana, and I said, Dana, would you come on? You know, she's a great comedian. Would you come on and do some shtick and write some things and have this? So she'll be one of the 48. Henry, I know, we spoke about it earlier, and, and you've very graciously agreed to come on and be one of the spotters. One of the pacers. Oh, absolutely. Well, thank absolutely. you, sir. And I should also say that Transitional Radio is going to be one of the official sponsors. Um, I know that yeah. also Sales Copy Academy and TryH2.com is going to be the third official sponsor. And, and they're you know, where I'm, where I'm going to count on Transitional Radio, Henry, and you is kind of like my spiritual advisor throughout the 81 hours. Try h 2 uh-huh. I'm relying on them a little more in terms of what I can eat, what I can drink, what I can do, that kind of thing. So I'm really excited about the people that are coming on board as sponsors. I'm really excited to have you uh, as kind of like my spiritual advisor uh, through all of this. (laughs) And then the good folks at tryh2.com for what I'm going to need to stay awake. But I would love it, Henry, if people here in the thread would go, oh, I'll come on and talk for hang out with you for 30 minutes or are there show ideas like Henry you've you've got to have a segment idea in mind what would be a cool thing that you think we could do if we had to do a 24-hour show what would be a cool little segment that we could do because before you answer I should also announce that in speaking and in, in, in working with the people at uh, uh, Guinness not the beer, right? Although a great beer, but the, but the world record company. Um, th- there's some different things that you're going to need. You know, you need to have people watch and you need judges and this and that. So we're going to broadcast like tonight. I don't know if you know this, but tonight is the first night. Thanks to Wayne. We'll be broadcasting live to both Facebook and YouTube. Never been done before for me, at least here on all natural being. So we'll be broadcasting live to Facebook and YouTube throughout the 24 hours. And then, Henry, when we get to 81 to win later in December of this year, we'll be broadcasting the full 81 hours on Facebook, YouTube, and quite possibly Twitter and Twitch. We're trying to work out some of the things. So what I would love, Henry, is if you have any ideas, uh, Dana had a great one this morning about, you know, maybe you could shave on air. Or, uh, you know, every, uh, Dana Lee fr- from here in the thread, Dana said, oh, what a great idea. You could shave uh, while you're doing the show. I thought it was a great one. Everyone's worried about the shunt, right? What's it going to if you're shunt, if you're vertical, uh, you know, for all those hours. So I thought I'd get one of those inversion chairs where you can hang your feet and kick over backwards. I'll do part of the radio show in an there inversion chair. So what other ideas, Henry, what could what are some other cool things that you think that we could do to make it for people that want to come on and watch to make it at least somewhat entertaining and still be a part of a record? Oh, I would think it would be, well, be marvelous. I think if you, like you said, I think the shaving that would be perfect. A massage, <laughs> having somebody give you a massage, oh, a massage cool. chairs where you can actually sit and relax and then they can do, give a massage. I think <laughs> shampoo in your head would be kind of Shampoo <laughs> in my <laughs> head would be good. Let me say good evening to Kelly. Thank you for watching. Uh, shampooing my head would be great. You know, I was thinking maybe I'd get like a manicure or a pedicure. Or I'll do some things like that. Um, but you know what, Henry? What if there were a map? Of the entire world. And what we tried to do is every 15 minutes take in a call from a different country around the world. That might be something that would be kind of cool to do as well. What do you think? I think that would be a great way to to actually just the anticipation of being able to fill that map from, you know, from every country, getting getting listeners because you have listeners from all over and getting that that either listen to you live or listen to you via IPM Nation, uh, you know, all, all natural being, and or through through uh, um, iHeartRadio. Right. And why not, ha- you know, put the word out to them and say, hey, listen, we're going to do this, and so we'd love to have you actually call in from where you are so we can put the pin in the map, and let's see if we can actually fill that map within the 80-hour period of time. That's sort a of like, great. You know, collecting how many, how many dollars can we collect, or like the Jerry Lewis telethon, you know? Well, that's interesting you say that, because what I thought I would do is, you know, the Hydrocephalus Foundation uh, uh, kind of works... Uh, with people that have had brain surgeries, people like me that have shunts, people that have been subject uh, to traumatic brain injuries. So what I thought we could do is also have as a, as a, 
the official charity, if you will, of 81 to Win, we would have had the Hydrocephalus Association uh, to just call attention to what people with brain shunts or what people that are subject to multiple brain surgeries, because there are people, Henry, a lot, there are a lot of people subject to more than just my three little brain surgeries, right? There, there are people that have three brain surgeries in a year. Right. I've met people that have 21 brain surgeries in an attempt to get their shunts just right. So I, I thought one of the things that we could do would be calling attention to not only that cool foundation, but to the good folks struggling with this kind of thing. So when you say Jerry Lewis Telethon, it would be kind of cool to have a map of the world, a whole map of our globe, and put little pins, little flags for every one of the countries that calls in over the 81 hours, and the official record, uh, I've reached out to the young lady on Facebook to see if she'll uh, friend me, uh, but the official record is 80 hours and five minutes. So we came up with the hashtag, Henry, 81 to win. You know, if you're going to beat a record, you should beat it by a couple minutes at least. So we're going to try to best it by about an hour, drawing attention to the Hydrocephalus Association. And of course, the people that'll call in, good evening, Janelle, thank you for joining us. Here at All Natural Being, I really love the pictures that you put up earlier. They were very nice. Uh, but, Henry, also to call attention to the people that call in maybe with causes or with brands or with ideas. You know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll go after some celebrities. Maybe we'll talk to, you know, we'll go after Gary Vaynerchuk. Maybe we'll find who knows who we'll find to get to call in and support us in our attempt to set a world record. Absolutely. I think that would be fabulous. And in fact, even bringing a spokesperson in from the uh, from the association to give a talk about exactly what you have gone through and what so many other people go through. That's a great idea. And Rita says there are traumatic brain injury groups that would benefit as well. Absolutely agreed. Absolutely so we can true. look at that. So so it, it, I know it's a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of me poking fun at someone that didn't return my email. Uh, and it's just classic me to go, <laughs> right? When the pendulum swings, it swings so far the other way. But I thought, look, here's a way for me to learn radio because I'm not going to fail at this. I'm going to do everything I can to, to, to be able to pull this off. So what better way to teach myself to learn how to do this than the 24-hour practice run coming up at the end of the month and then getting ready for our attempt at the record, the 81 to win? Oh, I love it. I just love it. Leave it to you. Just leave it to you. <laughs> Thank that you, is, brother. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think it is fabulous. Well, and I would also say to other people listening, if there's anyone else that can think of other ideas, like I have, I have to tell you, Henry, and not that you have offered yet. So let me just let me just say, uh, but there's been a, a suggestion that if I make the 81 hours, uh, maybe Henry uh, can will get his hair cut. If the video is working, LOL. Yeah. So, right? Don't answer now. Uh, there's no pressure. Don't answer. Right? We'll keep that between yeah. you and me. And you're welcome to reach out to Shane and thank him for that idea. Um, uh, Shane also says uh, vets and retired first responders that may have had uh, on the job injuries similar to traumatic brain injury. Shane, I think it's a great idea. And I'll tell you what, Shane, in addition to that, I was thinking maybe every so often throughout the 80-hour run, I could find local paramedics that'll stop by, you know what I mean? Maybe check my vitals. Uh, maybe a local coffee shop that says, oh, no, or, or people that want to visit, right? People that want to come, We've, we're building out the studio. We're in the process of building out the studio. Henry, you remember when you were here, and everyone will remember watching you and Kelly, but we're in the process of building out the studio. Maybe people could come by and hang out uh, with me for some time. So that's a great Absolutely. idea, Shane. And, uh, uh, Henry, that's my way of, of, of twisting your arm and inviting you uh, and Rita to come back in December um, would be to hang out here in the studio. And, uh, you know, I've been really fortunate because people have been saying to me, oh, you know, wear uncomfortable shoes. Yeah. And I think, okay, that's good. <laughs> you know, don't sit down. Don't throw, uh, don't throw your shoe at anyone that walks by. I'm having like a George Bush uh, press conference flashback. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, don't sit in a comfortable chair. Keep the room nice and cool. Do, you know, do all these other things um, to make sure that you don't get too comfortable. Because when you get too comfortable and then... Uh, <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello, sneaky person. How are you? 
<laughs> so, right? So we're thinking of all these different things we can do. Maybe, like you said, I could, maybe there's a bowling ball company that can come and buff my head. Um, you know, things like that that we could do. Road trip to Ohio. I like that, Janelle. I would love for you to come. Let me say good evening to Dallas. Nice to see you. Janelle, I would love it if you would pull a road trip off and come and hang out for the attempt. Henry, what else do you think? Right, right, because now all I'm doing is pandering, getting people to come and be my pacers, come and be, you know, my safety net through this 81 hours. What else should I offer? You know, I think, no, I think it's a, it, that, that would be wonderful. I mean, you know, everybody's been so supportive of, of the show and, and have contributed so much. And so, yeah, I think, you know, I think even being able to give give the exposure to, to those that, that – you may not call in, or or but but have tremendous threads in 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 the chat, and so I th- I think this would be a great opportunity to do that. I think it's an also a great opportunity to to start to expose some of the stuff, the uh, the 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 the, the, the tr- traumatic brain injuries that a lot of the vets suffer, mm-hmm. and um and and the ensuing post traumatic stress that 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 occurs. Um, I'm going I'll I'll pull a a. a, a uh, a favor on my end here and see if I can get a good friend of mine to do that, to actually come in and, and either come into you or, or to call you at least. Well, that'd be great. Um, and, uh, and and pull that off and see if he can get an army of people or even some of his close friends that, that will uh, do it. And I'll keep that kind of private at this point. Because, Groovy. Uh, yeah. They're pretty good people. <laughs> well, I'd appreciate it. And if we can help spread the message about what people, uh, you, you know, what some people, and, and, and I'm not making light of it at all, but there are people uh, uh, that have suffered a lot worse from brain surgery than I have, right? So I'm hoping that that this will at least call to the attention what some people are up against. But also, I have to be honest with you, it's just plain going to be fun for me, Henry, to go from being uh, rejected, I guess you could say, <laughs> right, to wanting to be a, a, a less than minimum wage janitor simply to show me how to work a border, this and that, to now be going. And I, I have to tell you, I was really surprised. Uh, and in conversations with Facebook, talking about what we could do to kind of pull all this together, what we would need to do, they were really helpful in terms of, uh, you know, some ideas that we may want to think about. So I'm thinking that a 24-hour show in September, beginning or the end of this month, beginning of next month, would be a great, you know, like a shakedown cruise, Henry, right? Like I heard this thing the other yeah. day, they're going, oh, if you're in the market for a yacht, and I'm sure I'm speaking to a lot of people here in our thread, if you're in the market for a yacht, don't buy a yacht. Here's the public service announcement. Don't buy the yacht right away. Rent it for a month. And then you'll decide. So this is like a shakedown cruise. The 24 hours will be a shakedown cruise to see, you know, what we can do. Well, like you said, Henry, we can have a yoga instructor come over. Part of the studio is being built. Yeah. Uh you know, I'll have the exercise chair, a little skillet. Maybe I can shave, as Dana said earlier. There are all kinds of cool things that we'll be able to do because we're going to broadcast. Excuse me. We're going to broadcast the attempt via video live on Facebook and here on YouTube as well. Love it. God, I love it. I think this is fabulous, Brian. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> remind me not to do remind me not to do something to make you really mad at me. I think it's really kind of cool. <laughs> Thanks, brother. And you should know, Rita says this great opportunity to discuss PTSD. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Off the wall stuff is a given, though. And I have to tell you, uh, 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 Rita. And this is not taking away from someone, although uh, uh, I'm a veteran. I'm, I'm not taking away from people that have had other tr- other instances that triggered or other beginning events for PTSD. But there are times where I seriously think, given some of the things that I think about during the day, maybe there's a PTSD in me left over just for being on my back for 24, 25 days, you know, as I went through all these brain surgery. So when I saw PTSD come up on there, I think it's a great idea, Rita, because there's times where I think the same thing that I wonder if some of us never having served in a war, never been in combat, maybe there's some PTSDs, never been in, you know, involved in a, in a particularly um, traumatic accident, but some of us could still be suffering from PTSD and not even know it. So that's a great way of being able to call attention to that as well, because ultimately, Henry, I would love it if the 81 hours could be about your all natural being. 
you know, it's short, then why can't it be? Why, why can't it be? be? Right. Because that's really what the whole intention is, right? <laughs> We're making so it up as we not? go along. And, and, <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, why can't it be? <laughs> We're the one making the rules. Or we, we absolutely can make it that way. Yes. Like, yes, we can. And and I think the focus on that, too, going going through in the results with post-traumatic stress. I mean, that's one of the things we and I did. We treated that. I mean, we had a nonprofit that we actually treated post-traumatic stress disorder. And and so I understand uh, a lot of it and a, a lot about it uh, because we didn't treat it the way it's normally done. It, mostly it's set up as a, a um, uh, psychotherapy. Okay. Um, but we found that if you've been shot or burned as a fireman, mm-hmm. You have a physical problem. You don't have a mental problem. That's a physical sure. problem, and we have to treat that. And it's not just you. It's your family. Everybody sure. around you is affected by that. So we learned that you, you have to treat everybody in, that you're in contact with, uh, the entire, everybody close to you plus the, the person, and, um, and we got great results. But it's, it's, it's still such a gray area when it comes to post-traumatic stress because it's still not understood um, for the, what it really does to us. And yes, it is. I mean, rape victims and people that have just I mean, had their car stolen or been sure. mugged, um, they don't have to necessarily be physically hurt. It's sure. but they've been traumatized, and that's sure. what it is. Henry, let me just interrupt quickly to say hello to Lee. Lee says, I love this plan. Lee, thank you very much. And thank you for having Sales Copy Academy as you get ready to ramp up some of the things you're doing now. Thank you for Sales Copy Academy being a sponsor of this 81 to Win. Uh, Rita also says PTSD is a result of any traumatic event, tornadoes, car accidents, the victims of child abuse, witnessing horrible uh, events. You know, I would I would add Absolutely. to that loss of a loved one, that kind of thing. And you raise a very valid point, Henry, because, you know, I always think it's easy for me to think that, oh, well, I've had a brain tumor and I've had all these surgeries and I've had all these complications and the like. But you're absolutely right to talk about family members, what's happened to people around you, right? When, when you go through these uh, occurrences, when you go through these uh, aftershocks, when you go through these setbacks, you're right. It, it, it involves your family, your closest friends, your community. It's not just, it's not yeah. always just you. Well, no, I mean, the, pre, the pre-injury or pre-event person is totally different than the post-event person. And okay. And usually the pre-event person is gone. I mean, that person will never be back because that has been such a life-changing thing for them. And so it's, it's relearning, the family relearning to love this person that, that has now come back into their life. Um, and yes, it is hard, and it takes a lot of effort on all the people's parts, but you can't simply ignore the family because they're going through the same thing. It's just in a different way. You know, it's, I'm going to share one other thing. I'm, I'm just like, we're not going to make a show out of me reading emails. How much fun would that be? But I thought because of what you just said, I would go ahead and share with you the original email that I sent out to you and a handful of other people telling, telling you really how I had come up with this idea. And it says, one of the most indelibly etched memories I have of my many days flat on my back in the hospital is a conversation I overheard between my wife and my neurosurgeon. And and what you just said, Henry, caused this to to pop up in my mind. And he said, you must realize, he told her, there's a pre-tumor and a post-tumor, Brian. His brain tumor is going to be a turning point in your lives. He will not come out of this the same person that went in. And I said in the email that that diagnosis has haunted me from the instant I was aware of it. Although, through all of it, three extensive brain surgeries, recurring bouts of amnesia, amnesia, the aftershocks to my system, I simply refused to lose. So when you said that about, you know, there's the pre-event and the post-event, that's exactly what my neurosurgeon said to Ashley prior to all this going down, was that you have to prepare for Brian post-tumor. And I didn't want to believe that. Maybe, maybe like other people. As Dallas says, you have to get used to the new normal. I, I, to be honest with you, Dallas, I'm not really sure I was ready for that. I'm still not sure I'm ready for it today. It's not been two full years yet. It's coming up here in a little while, coincidentally, <laughs> pretty close to Labor Day. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm ready for that new normal yet, Henry. 
No, and I, and I don't believe you are. And you, it's not a time thing. I mean, it can be 20 years, 30 years. It doesn't matter. It's, it's the, as, as you assimilate the event and you assimilate the experience, and then it becomes more in tune and, and adjusted to yourself, and you create this new norm, you mm-hmm. won't even realize you've done it. It just all of a sudden you realize, wow, I have changed, or I am different from what I was before. And it's subtle. It's very subtle. I mean, sometimes it's very traumatic and it's very direct. Um, but in your case, no, it won't be. And it, you be, one, because you just don't have that personality. You don't give up. I mean, you just, <laughs> you Thank bite you, down sir. on the rope and three people are pulling it and you're going to continue to bite down on it. And, and that, that's who you are. And, and that's why you deal with things differently than I would deal with them, or that, that uh, Dallas would deal with them, or, or that Rita would deal with them, or Shane would deal with them. Um, we are all different, and we all have to understand that our approach to things are all different. I would hope, though, that underlying that difference is that little bit of all-natural being that you and I always talk about, you know, that wild at the core that would cause people to say, hey, I'm not ready to pack it in. I'm not going to give it up. If I'm still vertical, I'm going to do something about it. So if you're just joining us, uh, we're here into the second half hour of All Natural Being this evening, announcing that we'll be doing end of this month over Labor Day, a 24-hour live call-in talk radio show from 10 a.m. Sunday till 10 a.m. on Monday. And all of that will lead to my attempt to break the Guinness World Record for, well, it's 80 hours and five minutes, Henry, but it's the record for the longest single host call-in radio talk show. And we're going to go for 81 hours and we're going to do it to call attention uh, right, to call attention to the fact that the local radio station told me, well, they didn't even tell me no thanks. They didn't even bother returning my email. Uh, and then also to call attention to the fact of people that are dealing with uh, traumatic brain injuries and, and, and as we've identified this evening, PTSD. And that's why I was so excited. Arita says you have to learn a new you. I'm so excited about this evening to share it with everyone because I hope that here in the thread, as, as has happened already, Henry, people in the thread will go, oh, did you ever think about doing this? Did you ever think about doing that? Did you think about including this? You know, Shane's comments, Dallas's go. comments, Rita's comments, uh, Dana's uh, comments. So I'm in hopes that as we talk about this leading up, and, and not every show, we won't talk about it much. We'll have a little segment in our shows leading up to the end of this month, and we'll call it 81 to win, and we'll keep you abreast of of everything that's going on. But most certainly if you instant message me or you want to reach out and go, hey, I'd love to be one of your spotters. I'd love to be one of your pacers. I'd love to come on and call in for a half hour and keep you going through the 24-hour show. That's why I was so excited about this this evening, Henry, was that we'll come up with some really cool ideas. And we kind of, even though I'll be the one that says, okay, let me see if I can, hard to believe as I know, um, see if I can keep talking nonstop for 24 hours. It'll really be a team effort. Everyone here in the thread, everyone that calls in, everyone that visits me here in the studio, it really will be a team effort, right? Blending together all yeah, of our all natural beings to pull this off. So I was really just, just, I was excited to kick off tonight's show. Not that I'm not always, but you know what I mean? I was really excited to tell everyone uh, what it was I was planning and uh, to get everyone's fingerprints all over this, right? To get their input as to how we can pull this off. Hey, maybe we'll just start extending that tat on that right arm of yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> See, wait a minute. I need a three by five card. Hold on. Cut the commercial. I got to write these. I did it down. I could have, I could have work done on one of my sleeves during the show. Yes, you could. See, there's a part of the show. Okay. Let me write this down. So I'll put tattoos. Good. Anything else you can think of? Oh, I have it written down here. Henry gets his hair cut. What? What was that all about? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll put a I'll put a big question mark. <laughs> Let me see on this one. <laughs> on that one, I'll put a question mark near that one. We'll put that tattoos. But no, that's a great idea. Keep them coming. I could have some work done. That'll keep you awake. I'll tell you that. Although I've, I I I tend to be pretty much 
I have quite a few of them uh, up on my shoulders and, 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 and the like. So it's very relaxing for me to get a tattoo, but I get your point. So that would be something else we could add to it. Um, any other thoughts, any other ideas? Keep them coming. That's a great one. Rita says, it's going to be informative, wow. fun, topics galore. 81 to win is going to be the new front runner. Thank you, Rita, very much. I appreciate it. Henry, before we get ready to hop off, anything else that you'd like sure. to add? Anything? And, and let me just say also before we get ready to go, that Transitional Radio, I'm very excited about all the hard work you've been doing, everything that you've put into it. And thank you so very much, along with Lee, if he's still in the, uh, on the thread. Along with Lee and the good folks at tryh2.com, thank you all so much for agreeing to be, uh, you know, kind of the corporate sponsors of uh, the Meshuggah that is Brian's mind. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to having you, as I said earlier, as a spiritual advisor to go, okay, here's how we're going to get through the 24, and here's how we're going to get through the 81. So thank you so very much for agreeing to do this with me. Oh, this is my pleasure. Are you kidding? I'm, I'm just so looking forward to this and, and, and the length, uh, the new length of a relationship this can really build up. I, I'm just so excited about it, and I'm just, I'm just loving it. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, Henry, we're going to let you go, and then I'm going to get ready to wrap the show. I'll look forward to speaking to you soon. But uh, thank you again for all of your input and all of your encouragement to do that, and I'll look forward to you being uh, obviously one of the pacers uh, when we do the 24. So thank you, brother, very much uh, for calling. I appreciate it. You, you, you can count on me. All right, you brother. You can count on me, friend. Thanks so much. We'll thank talk you, to you soon. All right, everybody, that was Henry Noel calling in to kind of like give me uh, uh, his take on what he thought of the hashtag 81 to win. Uh, Lee says, and in studio alpaca that's what's missing <laughs> thank you lee very much let me make sure i say yes i think that's exactly what we need but you know what maybe i could have a, a, a yoga instructor come over and i could do a downward dog pose or something who knows right but that's the thing lee i want to be able to craft something because it's more than just radio right it's more than just that it's going to be the video you're going to be able to watch it on facebook you're going to be able to watch it on youtube so i think and lee you've been to the studio you know the kind of room we have to work here i think it'll be cool to find different things uh that we could do to help get us through the 24 hours as i say as the uh, ramp up and then for the 81 to win later in December. So Lee, that's a great idea. Please keep them coming. All right. I want to go ahead and get ready to wrap as I promised we'd get us out before the top of the hour. I need to thank again, the good people at IPMNation.com, uh, Matt and Jenny for everything they do to keep us on the air at this point. And, and I really should thank, uh, but you, not Josh. It's his name is not Josh. It's Mike, M Mike. That's it. I really should thank Mike for not <laughs> returning my email because had he called and go, yeah, yeah, come over, park some cars, rake some leaves, and we'll teach you how to do this. Well, I never would have, I never would have thunk this, right? This never would have happened. So in a way I need to thank him and maybe we can, you know, we can all look at a way that maybe things didn't turn out the way we wanted or anticipated, but something even cooler unfolded right in front of us. Right? What is that? What is that saying? When one door of happiness closes, Another one opens, but so long, for, but so many times we stare, st we stand there staring at the door that's closed. We never see the one that opened for us. Well, so I need to thank uh, the good folks at that radio station uh, uh, for not extending the Kumbaya sign to me. I got the do not enter sign, but thank you very much for that, because maybe this is the reason to go ahead and spark this endeavor. So I want to also thank Transitional Radio, totally behind you, Brian. Thank you very much. Henry, I super appreciate that. And I've got to tell you, Henry's got a lot going on uh, in terms of ramping up his launch of transitional radio and some of the things he's doing. And I couldn't think of someone better to have as a spiritual guide, a spiritual counselor, you know, just my go-to guy to talk to, <laughs> especially when the hours get up there, right, in our, in our uh, major record-setting attempt. It's really an honor uh, to have him. As it is with Lee, Lee's just a sharp, brilliant guy. And uh, um, I'm, I'm honored to have Lee involved with him, uh, involved with this project as well. And, of course, Stephen and Gordon from TryH2.com, all the potions, all the hydrogenated water, all the different things that I'll be ingesting, physically ingesting, to help uh, prepare me for this. Uh, a special thank you to them 
as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much for joining me. Thank you for letting me blather on about why I did this and all the different things that I hope will come out of it. And my sincere hope, right, and and and, and I guess the big ask is that if you think, oh, this would be a pretty cool segment idea, will you just instant message me, please, or put it out on Twitter, uh, at Brian Brody, or on Facebook, or here in the thread, wherever else you can think to do it. Give me some of your ideas. Maybe if you want to be a pacer, uh, you know, if you want to be a spotter and you want to call in for a 30-minute segment, hang out with me on the phone. Make sure that I make it the full, <laughs> excuse me, the full 24 hours and then on into the 81 hours later this year. I would love to have you uh, be a partner. I would love to have you be a guest on the show. So thank you all so very much for all the input. Thank you to, to Shane. Thank you to Rita. Thank you to Lee and to Henry and Janile. Thank you, Janice. Thank you for everyone that joined me for Dallas that joined me here this evening. Dana, thank you. I super appreciate it. And we will be back with you. Kelly, if you're still watching, thank you very much. Wayne, thank you. Janice, thank you. If you're still with us, thank you so very much for joining us here this evening at All Natural Being. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We will see you back here tomorrow night. Thank you all so very much from the bottom of my heart. IPMNation.com